China story time. Yeah, that's right. You read the title and it said, I met a very nice Chinese lady. Now, I know what you all thought right off the bat. You thought it was going to be something romantic. Well, sorry to burst your bubble. It's not anything romantic, but it's very interesting. And I hope that you'll check the story out. And also by listening to this, you will learn something about China. Okay, so first things first, let me set the backdrop for this story. The most common term that you'll hear for foreigners in China, I'm referring to local Chinese people, referring to non-Chinese as foreigners, sort of how Mexicans might refer to you as a gringo. Well, in Chinese, they refer to foreigners as lao wai two characters. The first character literally means old. The second character, Y, means outside. So if you literally translate it, it means something like old outsider, but that's not really how it works. What it really means is foreigner. In and of itself, there's nothing negative about it. I mean, just because the first character means old, lao. Well, the word for teacher in Chinese is the same, lao shi. And that, by any measure, is a very respectful term. So inherently, in and of itself, the word lao wai is not a negative word. It's not an insult. That said, it's not the most standard way of referring to someone as a foreigner. The most standard way would be wai guo ren. If you visit China and you're just walking around on the street, you will notice people looking at you because there aren't many non-Chinese living here. It's kind of a special sight when they see someone who's not from here. So, of course, you're going to get some attention. And usually, it's very friendly attention. They'll smile. They'll say hello. But you will hear the word la wai thrown around quite a bit. So, don't get angry when you hear that. For me, personally, I've been living here long enough. I'm comfortable enough with the language, the culture, the people. And I'm going to tell you all straight up, my opinion is that... I don't like that word. I don't like the word la wai. I tolerate it. And if someone uses it, I won't confront them about it. I'll let it slide as long as they're not saying it in a negative tone. If someone calls me wai guo ren, which like I just mentioned also means foreigner, I will never get angry. In fact, I view them as being quite polite. The reason I don't like the word la wai is just that because of my time here, I can honestly say that Regardless of what others say, and I know I'll have Chinese people comment in the comment section saying, oh, it's not a negative word. Look, I've been here long enough. I've got tons of Chinese friends, and I know the nuances of the word. I know that inherently it's not a negative term, but I also know that at the very, very least, even when it's not meant this way, it still has condescending undertones. The most important thing when somebody is using the word la wai is not the word itself, but it's the, the context. It's the tone that they use. Like if you're walking past and you hear somebody say la wai, well, that's not a very friendly tone. And they're using the word in a quite a derogatory way. Most people just say it because it's the most common way to colloquially address or refer to a foreigner. And most people that use it have no negative intentions, but the term in and of itself is not the best or most polite way to address a foreigner. And regardless of what people try to say or how they try to justify it, I will always view it as having at least some degree of condescension. Okay, I don't want to beat this point into the dirt. I just want you all to understand what the word means and my impression of it and my feelings about this word. So about this nice lady that I met, okay? I was in a McDonald's of all places. That's right, the Golden Arches. I was waiting in line. And I heard a mother talking to her daughter. They were just behind me. I hadn't even looked at them yet. But I could hear the mother telling the daughter. She was correcting her daughter. And this is what she said. What that means is at first the little girl, she saw that, you know, there was a foreigner in front of her in line. And she was telling her mom, oh, look, lao wai, lao wai. And then the mother was correcting the daughter. No, no, what's all this lao wai stuff? And then she corrected her daughter by telling her the proper way to address a foreigner. So, of course, when I heard this, I had to see who this very impressive and rare mother was who was really teaching her daughter some good manners and how to be polite to a foreigner in China. I turned around. 
I saw a mother with a cute little chubby daughter who was probably about seven years old. Cute little chubby cheeks. And the little girl obviously meant nothing wrong. She has just heard other people refer to foreigners as Lao Wai in the past, and that's where she learned it. Now keep in mind, the mother didn't know that I could speak Chinese. She wasn't correcting her daughter for my ears. She was correcting her daughter because she also believes that Lao Wai is not a very polite term. Which, to be honest, the fact that this mother was teaching her daughter, correcting her daughter... I think proves my point and proves that my thoughts on the word, despite what some people in China will tell me, it proves to me that my opinion on this word is accurate. It is, even in the very best of times, a slightly rude term. Well, let me just tell you that in all the years that I've been living in China, I have never had that happen. And I've been here roughly 11 years. So I wasn't going to just brush this off and pretend that uh, it wasn't any big deal. I was truly impressed by this. I appreciated it. And I looked right at the mother and I said, wow, thank you. I said, you are really a nice and polite woman. And I want to let you know that I really appreciate what, what you just told your daughter there. And then I told her, I said, I've been in China for a long time and I've never met somebody who has done what you just did. And it is very impressive. Then I looked at the little girl and I told her in Chinese, I said, you have an amazing mom. And then, of course, I had to compliment the little girl, too. And I said, you yourself are such a cute little girl. Well, the mother was over the moon. She was very happy. She was also surprised that I could understand and speak Chinese. But of course, you know, it was just one of those moments that were very good feelings in the air. She was feeling very happy. It was overall a very positive moment. No, of course, I hear that word all the time, and I'm not going to confront people when they do it. No, if it's somebody that I've got to interact with a lot, or I'm going to have an extended interaction with, and they refer to me as Lao Wai more than a couple times, well, then I will interject my opinion and say, excuse me, you know, could you please use a different word besides Lao Wai? I don't really appreciate this word. But if it's just once or twice or used in passing, I just let it slide. Sometimes I'll even make a joke with them if they call me a Lao Wai which literally translates as old outsider. I'll call them a lao nei, which means old insider. And it usually takes them a couple of seconds to get it, but once they do, more times than not, they burst out into laughter. That way I can kind of address the situation, kind of get them back without being rude or confrontational, but also without just taking that term lao wai that I really dislike and just accepting it. And I can kind of make a joke out of it, make a lighthearted, funny moment. But I really wanted to share this story with you all because I think it's important to share the good moments as well, not just negative things. Because sometimes when something good or special or really out of the ordinary happens, I think it's good to get it out there. Spread the love, spread the good vibes. And like I said, I have been here for over 10 years and I've never heard a parent correct their kid when they've called me a Lao Wai. Now I will say I have one time had a kid call me Wai Guo Ren which means the little kid who was probably about nine years old, he used a very polite way to address me. And then his mother corrected him, but she actually did the opposite of correcting him. When he called me a Wai Guoren, his mother said, uh, la Wai. So she actually taught her son and reinforced to him to use the more impolite and the worse of the two ways of addressing a foreigner. So essentially, she was teaching him something bad. I mean, imagine that a little kid about nine years old does something right, and then the parent actually comes out and teaches him the bad way to say it. Absolutely pathetic. But this little incident that happened to me while waiting in line at McDonald's may not sound like much, but I can tell you it's about a once in a decade kind of thing in China, and it was a meaningful moment. I noticed it. I appreciated it. I had a very friendly exchange with the mother and her cute little daughter. And we went about our day, and now I'm spreading the joy and the experience with all of you viewing here. I hope you all have enjoyed this video. Maybe you learned something about China from it. If you've spent time here before, then obviously you wouldn't have learned anything from it, but you might find it somewhat interesting, and you'll be able to appreciate how rare moments like that are, because you definitely know for yourself that these things just don't happen. But it happened to me, and I want to remember it and appreciate it, and keep that positivity in my heart.
So thanks everybody for watching. I've got a lot more content on the way travel videos, opinions and interpretations of current events, especially those related to China. So please subscribe to the channel to make sure you don't miss out. Also, before I go, a quick shout out to my supporters on Patreon, buymeacoffee.com, and those who have left me a gratuity right here on the YouTube platform via Super Thanks. Thank you all so much. You all are amazing. And I look forward to catching you all in the next video. Shatsa. Zai Jian.